Huh. Do you now? Well, if the keepers let you run around in here, I suppose you have business with the Order. So I guess there's no harm in trading with you. But don't think it will cost you any less than somewhere else. Walk blessed. Keep walking. Keep walking. Greetings. Hmm, you don't seem familiar. You're here for business, I assume. Well then, I am Taurus Flamely, Apothecarius by my path. My companion and I work together with the Arcanists here, and we investigate the Red Madness. How may I help you? Finn and Carbos, of course. Who doesn't know them? An odd duo, and completely inseparable. Why do you ask? What? How? How do you know that? <sighs> My Malthus, that's... I... One tragic event after another. Now listen. This question might seem peculiar. But... Is there any chance you found amulets on them? The emblems of the Apothecary. It's a ritual. Whenever one of our members passes away, their amulet will be put in soldiers' halls as remem- They are silver with a violet jewel. Have you found them? Damn it. We can't even pay them their last respects. Well, thank you. I'll send a pigeon with the news to the League as soon as possible. With all due respect to your thirst for knowledge, I am not a magister, and I've got my... Our monastery is far to the north, in the Frostcliff Mountains. However, you won't be able to reach it at the moment due to the heavy snowfall. And in case that doesn't sate your appetite, there are a couple of books about us in the library, or maybe even the Chronicum. 
With all due risk, our monasteries, and in case that doesn't sate your appetite, there are a couple of books about us in the life. That's what I'm here for. Take a look. Walk list. Do you actually believe this could work? It sounds absurd. Malfas's blessings. I don't believe I know. The mercenary, he might not be the shining knight of Castle Star Sound, but he's better than most of your men. I want him, and you will need to convince your true Chesser of it. Is that so? Very well, I will convince her. You will hear from me. I hope so. Prophet, good to see you. How do you feel? Good. I never doubted you would pass the test. 
In any case, all that is left to do now is to recite the oath. Then we will finally deal with the more urgent matters. The ceremony needs a little preparation, one day at least. Come back then. Even if it hurts to lose more time, the cleansing approaches, I can feel it. Just this night I had another of the dreams. People I knew, including you. But these people weren't themselves. There was something else, and it spoke through them. They mocked us and said our struggle against the cycle was pointless. It was peculiar. I believe that these beings are connected to the cycle. They must be the ones who cause it. You did? That is interesting. It must be related to our roles as emissaries. Maybe there is a connection between us. None. Maybe they are demons or magical entities of some kind, but they are different from everything I know. In any case, if they are indeed responsible for the cycle, they are our enemies. That's what matters for now. Come back tomorrow for the ceremony. Yes. Good question. In their writing, the Pyrians say it has existed for aeons. Since this world exists, since the sea of eventualities exists, so too then does the cycle. It seems to be a part of existence, so to speak. The Pyrians didn't, and neither did the dozen civilizations that came before them. That is what we know. But as for what happened before that, our knowledge about the past is limited. All that matters for now is that the cycle threatens us, and that we have to stop it. That depends on whom you ask. In some writings of the Pyrians, we are referred to as chosen ones. But this is wrong. A better word would be chess figures with their own will. Whatever force causes the cycle also gave us powers and a task. But fulfilling that task is our own responsibility. No. Sir! Phew! There you are! Here! A letter for you! What? Oh! That's very generous of you! Thank you! Safe travels! And may his life this guide This is you. holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here.
Well met. What would you like to hear? Sure. Do you know the aged man of whom no one This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong here. Notorious of widespread fame, <sighs> yet no one knows him by his name. The aged man in his abode on a solitary cliff. Ghastly voices speak of pains, of flying dreams he knew or veins. Silent cries and wailing cries. This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong here. 